What's going on, Pisces? My name is Vince. Welcome to 7D Tarot. If you would like to schedule your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. And if this message resonates, like, share, and subscribe. All right, let's dive right into your reading. See what we got going on. Six of Cups, look at that. Two of Wands, very interesting. The Tower and the Four of Cups, beautiful. Right now, Spirit is letting you know, major opportunity for you to really monetize something you love. Find passion. Make, make you know wealth from something that you truly uh, love. But during this time, it's essential that your focus, your awareness is on the things that are gonna pay dividends, that's gonna make this easier transition and not on focusing on other people and what they're doing. Spirit's letting you know right now, do not at all, no matter what, compare yourself to others. Comparison is the thief of joy. Comparison will take away all the, the good vibrations, all the good energy, all the metaphysical energy, the, the, the quantum physics, the vibration, the frequency that's gonna actually help you use the law of attraction to get what you're looking for. It'll take it all away. Comparison is the thief of joy. It is pretty much something that is, is, is one of the worst things we could possibly do. Do not compare yourself at all to other people. When you start a business, when you get a job, do not compare your position, for example, at work to the management position or to the president or to whatever other position there is. Be grateful for the position you have. That is how we use the law of attraction to attract what we're looking for. So right now, Spirit's letting you know, Big changes coming your way, for example, right? These changes are gonna change your life. These changes are something that are gonna help you monetize a passion. Do something that not only brings in wealth, but brings in happiness. But in order to do this, your focus, your attention, your awareness has to fully go into this. First, you have to be able to see this awareness, right? Get this download from spirit, recognize it, be like, ah, gotcha, inspired action. Yeah, you're right, I am good at this, I should go do this. What the heck, why am I not doing this? Boom, right? But then also, you have to have your awareness and energy to put into it and make sure that it actually you know, uh, unfolds for you. But if we are comparing ourselves to another thing, like for example, say if you're going to work, and say if you have a sales position, but then you want the management position, but then at work, rather than focus your energy and, and really put it into yourself and make, make yourself the best version of yourself so your boss is like, wow, why the heck is Pisces not the manager here? And, but instead you're telling yourself, you know what? I deserve to be the manager. What the heck is going on here? When you emit that vibration, when you're not grateful for your position, you're basically putting yourself in a position to have your vibrations go into a lower dimensional energy, which is self-sabotage. It's almost like creating a, a gate or an energy block blockage and preventing that, that opportunity from coming in. But all you have to do, the cheat code of this third dimension is super duper easy. You just gotta know how to play by the rules, right? Like for example, when we drive our cars, there's certain rules of the of the streets, right? Like you can like there's traffic rules, right? The green light, red light, yellow light, stop sign. You gotta follow this, right? We cannot change these rules. Same thing here. We cannot change the rules of, 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 of metaphysics. Like we can't change the rules of quantum physics, of vibrations, energy, magnetic energy. What do we do? Play by the rules. So the cheat code here is all you have to do is be like, wow. I am so grateful for my sales position, for example. I love this position. I am so grateful that I'm able to make some money, pay off my bills. I'm also grateful that I'm able to have a position where I can show my worth and then show my boss why I should be the manager. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Spirit. I appreciate this. Now, it doesn't matter of why the rules are like this, who wrote the rules, is it silly, is it not? This isn't important. It's like saying the traffic laws are silly. Who cares? You just gotta follow them. All you gotta do is say this. When you feel this, it's like ding, 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 ding. Confetti goes off, sparklers are here, everyone's clapping. Like this is what's happening. Your angels and guides, spirit is throwing a party for you, Pisces. Because remember, everyone wants to see you successful. Everyone wants to see you rich, but because of free will, they cannot enter your life and make you do this. They cannot make you realize what the rules are. They cannot make you realize how to play this game. Because of free will, they can just watch, right? So when you apply this tactic and you show spirit, spirit, holy smokes, I know this is a game. Oh my goodness. I know what the rules are. I had no idea. No one told me. Oh my goodness. Now I know. And I'm going to use this game, use these rules, and I'm going to play to win. I want to win this game, right? Everyone is gonna be so happy, you have no idea. Like just, I want you to succeed, you want you to succeed, Source wants you to succeed, your angels, your guides, your friends, your family, everyone wants to see you win, right? No one's against you, right? But if we don't know what the freaking game is, and we don't even know we're playing a game, and we've been programmed to condition to think to, to a crab in a bucket mentality, and push through it and grind and blah, 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 blah. It's not our fault. We've been brainwashed since the moment we were born to think this, right? Don't beat yourself up. How are you supposed to know? 
now you know though. Now you know. And that's the thing. Now my sister, my brother, that's what I'm talking about. Watch the game change for you. Watch the game change for you. And it all starts with no matter what. If it's on social media, if it's on television, if it's someone you know, never, ever, ever compare yourself to someone else, ever. Compare yourself to yourself. Ask yourself, how was my day? Did I meet my, my objective? You know, did I, you know, it, did I have, did I do what I wanted to do? You know, compare yourself to yourself, right? Never compare yourself to someone else. Now, look at this. This is crazy. Ace of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune and Three of Swords. Do you see what I'm talking about? Your life is changing. Your life is changing fast. Expect what, you, what you've been looking for. You've been visualizing a better job. You've been visualizing a promotion. You've been visualizing you being able to pay off your bills, your line of credit, your mortgage. You've been visualizing manifesting buying that house, buying that car, whatever the case is. These are the things that are happening for you. When you are emitting that vibration, when you really are playing by the rules of this game, the beautiful part is it's like electrical current. It's not like a metabolism that takes weeks to see results. When you clear energy, once you start you know, going with the flow, when you become magnetic and have things come to you rather than you go to it, you're gonna notice, wow, rather than me search for an opportunity, I just bumped into someone and they're really cool and they, they like me and they offered me a job. These things happen all the time. I get job offers all the time. I'll be chilling at a coffee shop. I'll be walking around. I'll be doing this and that, just random stuff. People will feel, wow, look at this. I don't know why. I don't know who this guy is. He's a stranger, but for some reason, I am naturally being drawn to him. What the heck is going on? Why is it I'm around this guy if he likes smiling? Why am I looking at him? Why do I feel like he's approachable? Why do I feel like he wants me to talk to him? This is crazy stuff, but this is how it works, right? Basically, when you are playing by these rules, when you're like, ah, when you're really using the magnetic energy, you know, like a boomerang, right? How you feel, right? You throw the boomerang and it comes back around. You're gonna notice people start gravitating to you and that's the energy that I feel. You're gonna notice spirit is just waiting to set things up for you to meet with people and network and get downloads. And you're gonna notice that it is effortless for you. For example, when I'm out and about, all I'm doing is imagine an imaginary flag. I am planting that right next to me and I am saying open for business. I am approaching. I am nice, I am harmless, and I am someone who's confident, fun, adventurous, and knowledgeable. Join my tribe. That's basically what I'm doing, and that's how I feel, right? When I feel confident, when I connect to my higher self, when I am not comparing myself to others, when I'm not giving away my energy, that means I have a ton of energy. When I have energy, I'm confident, right? Imagine the energy bar above your head, and every time you think of someone and you compare yourself, energy gets less and less and less. And then when we have no energy, who wants to join that? tried, right? But when we are not doing that, and if anything, we're giving ourselves energy by focusing on ourselves. What does Vince need? More energy. How can I honor my soul? More energy. People pick up on that. Vibrations and frequencies, magnetic energy. This is real stuff. You know, if you ever want to know if, if, if the law of attraction or if energy is real, go stand next to a dog, right? And when you're standing next to a dog, either A, you can feel fear. You can feel, you know, uh, 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 like, like you can feel anxious. You can feel nervous, right? Just if you're ever there, and I don't recommend doing this, but if you ever like feel like that, dog, that dog's gonna bite you, even if the dog loves you and wants to lick you and smile, it, when you are around it and it senses that, it's sixth sense, it's intuition, it, it feels your energy. That's what I'm trying to explain how energy is real. It's like, hold up, I, I really am a happy dog. But for some reason, this person is making me nervous. Should I have a reason to be nervous? Should I bite this person? Do you see where I'm going with this? This applies to humans, right? When you are, are, are scared of life, when you're scared of everything going on in the world, when you're around your boss, when you're around you know, your, someone that you like romantically, they feel that energy. They're like, hold up, what is going on here, right? But when you feel confident, when you're in touch with your higher self, when you wake up a little bit earlier in the morning, when you give yourself a little bit of attention, when you go for a walk, when you eat foods that make you feel good, right? I don't care what they are. I don't care if it's meat, I don't care if it's salad. If you eat something and it makes you feel good, people are gonna feel that vibration. And that's the vibration I feel for you. Right now, again, seven and eight, look at this right now. Look at the synchronicity. Seven of swords, be strategic. 
eight of pentacles, you be the master of what you do financially. This entire read is about you leveling up. It's about you ascending. It's about you inviting new energy into your life to make your life effortless rather than efforted. Remember, it is your birthright to be rich. You don't have to ask for this. It is your birthright to breathe oxygen. No one can tell you otherwise. This is what you are owed, right? And right now, you are owed to be rich healthy and with your soulmate. You don't need to worry about the who, what, when, where, how. Spirit will take care of that. Bumping into somebody, you know, opportunity, advertisement, some sort of opportunity coming into your life. What you have to focus on right now is making sure that energy bar is high and not comparing yourself to anyone else and the rest will, will come into your life organically. All right, Pisces, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Thousand kisses, like, share, subscribe. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Until next time, ciao.